Welcome to a new tutorial where I'll be discussing the common case of scrollable containers and the overlays. Whenever you have an overlay, that overlay could be a pop-up like a calendar, autocomplete, drop-down, multi-select, anything that pops out something. Whenever we have that inside a scrollable container, we had the problem of that overlay cannot go out of the boundaries of that viewport, that container. The common solution, well, the only solution is using a pen to body, but that causes misalignment problems. Let me show you the issue first. Okay, so let's begin. We have a drop down, simple drop down here, simple as that, with a simple options list, the bound model and the options. This one works fine. However, let's wrap this. Inside the container. I'll just add a border to it. Let's make it overflow auto. Okay. And I will just add some contents. Now, okay, there's some content. This area is scrollable. Let me open this. And that overlay is inside, gets stuck inside that uh, scrollable section. The common solution, well, the only solution is a pen to body. Let's see what happens. Now it can go out of the boundaries of that scrollable viewport. But when I scroll this, well, the users are likely to scroll it anyway. It gets misaligned and they're just disconnected, right? So that's it. There's, there's no solution to this. Another common case is the table scrolling. So I have a scrollable table here, and it is also horizontal and vertical. So name, location, company, and representative. And table scroll demo is just uh, listing a couple of customers where I have a ST and select a ST as well so that I will uh, can use my drop down. So here is my nice. Uh, horizontal and vertical table. It is so common that one of these columns or probably many of them will have a drop down for filtering purposes. So I'm just going to take this drop down, put it inside the location column. And let's see what happens. Okay. Oops, it gets stuck inside the header as well because for scrollable tables, we have yet to use overflow hidden for uh, scrollable tables are implemented with sep using separate tables. So that header is a separate table container with, that has an overflow hidden um, so that we don't display a scroll bar there. But that's it. This is causing a problem because this gray part is overflow hidden. So that overlay cannot go outside of that part. Let's set a pant to body. Okay, works. Everyone's happy until they scroll horizontally. Now we have a problem. And up until now we had no solution. Okay. So I've, I've tried to show you the problem first, and I'm just going to update to the latest version of Prime NG, Prime NG 10.0.2, and we'll see what happens. Okay, now we are using the version that has this enhancement, Prime NG 10.0.2. Okay, again, I had to use a pen to body because without it, it cannot go out. Well, in case you just if you want, if you prefer that to stay inside, that could be possible. Okay, let's set a pen to body, and it goes outside. Okay, 
and now if, if it's cold we are hiding it we are hiding it not um, let's say recalculating the position because there 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 will be probably cases where that target is outside of the viewport itself after scrolling so the user might scroll deep down and there won't be any target so where to align that um, drop down so in other cases where you can have a responsive um, design responsive web page so that if I re resize it for example on if the user resizes it so the content is just moving up and down and at that point we have to hide that overlay as well let's see what happens to that scroll example now I have append to body of course otherwise it won't go out of that uh, let's see even with the new version that that part is untouched okay I'm just adding append to body here as well now I'm just opening it remember the last time there was a disconnection with the overlay and the target now I can safely horizontally you know scroll and I can just go to the representative column so that location column is outside of the viewport so that's why hiding is is the is the best uh, solution to this well-known problem so uh, what to do to overcome if you are if you face with something like this make sure that you are if you're using prime ng make sure that you are using prime ng 10.0.2 and we are going also or we are also going to port it to prime engine 9 lts as well so that prime engine 9 users can get this there's nothing to do here i mean nothing to change your code will stay the same the components are just more clever components with these overlays are more clever they just when when they're they 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 bind some listeners but they do it in a performance efficient way they only do it when the overlay gets displayed okay and they don't run that algorithm whenever the user scrolls they just only do it once and once the uh, overlay is hidden they unbind themselves so that the, the fast scrolling won't be a won't cause any performance problems if you're using prime rect you need to have prime rec 5 and if you have prime view prime view should be uh, at least prime uh, for the view 3 users that should be prime view 3 and for, for for view 2 users that should be 2.1 prime view 2.1 for prime faces users we are going to add it to an elite release and also to prime ng uh, sorry prime faces 10 as well so that all libraries uh, except prime faces has it but prime faces will soon as well because uh, Right now, we are working hard on the getting the next release of Prime Faces. So that's it for now. Um, again, if you are having problems with scrolling containers, whether it's a scrollable table or scrollable container, make sure that you use a pan to body if you like that overlay to pop up, uh, pop out, and make sure that you have the best version available, which is the latest version. Uh, for your for your for your project and the components will take care of it okay that's it for now hopefully you like this uh, you know simple trick i am going to sh put up more tips and tricks in the future as well always bet on prime and take care